All right, everyone, we finally made it. We are on the last booster box. I'm, it's Fusion Strike. You know I love Fusion Strike. It is what it is, man. I love Fusion Strike. So we're going to bust into this real quick here. I'm not going to go into any play around with you guys. All I'm going to say is, hey, if you like if you like my channel, if you like Fusion Strike, booster box, here we go. I'm going to say, hey, please subscribe. Also, hit a like on top of that. Oh, jeez. Get it all out. There we go. Let's get it. Let's just get it all out. We're we're we're, we're fine. We're fine. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful stack of packs. I'm gonna pull. The, I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna do a little differently. I'm gonna do it like this. Yeah. How about that? You guys gotta see what's going on here. All right. Here we go. So, again, if you uh, haven't seen any of my videos, you should definitely watch all these videos. This is the end of the year celebrations. This is the last booster box of 2020, 2021. Yeah, we're in 2021, right? This is the last booster box of... I and I have opened up every single Sword and Shield booster box. This is it. Fusion Strike is it. Hey, Reverse Rare. Can't complain about that. And Evelto. Okay, I guess we can complain about Evelto. But, yeah, it was fun. It was really enjoyable. I really enjoyed seeing all the sets again. You know, you feel like you get a little bit of every set. You know, when you open up, like, uh, you know, the, the boxes. What, what I'm trying to say here. Premium boxes, whatever you want to call it. Collection boxes, there we go. Collection boxes. You get a little taste of all the sets, but you don't get to do, you know, things all the time. And, oh, look at that Gengar already. Oh, we got the, we got the Gengar VMAX. I did not have it. It's badly off cut. That's fine. Man, it's beautiful, though. I'm so happy I pulled that, though. I am, I'm getting close to filling in all of the empty slots in this, in this set. And Gengar VMAX was one of my empty slots. Finally. I mean, I pulled the uh, the alternate art one. The expensive one. But not that one. Alright. Alright. That's, that's a good start. I mean, that's a really good start. Gengar VMAX. You know, I looked at the prices before I opened, before I opened up this box. Um, I'm pretty sure that Gengar VMAX is probably like a $5 card or something like that. I know that the Gengar deck was like doing really well for a minute there. But I think Mew has just overpowered it to an extent where it's like, it's Mew. Because Gengar is weak against fighting types. And well, right now, you know, the Rapid Strike and Single Strike decks are kind of, they're, they're kind of, they're still out there. People still like running them. So Gengar, you know, I'm sorry. I still feel like Mew's got you topped. We all know I love Mew the most. I need some more Mew V Maxes for my deck. And some Genesex. So if we can get some Genesex and some Mew V Maxes, that would be terrific for me. What do we got here? We got Benary, Impidimp, and Corsola. Alright. Alright. And you can kind of tell, guys, I, I don't really like to play around. I like to just get through the videos. I don't want you guys to waste your time watching all my videos. I mean, I'd love for you guys to watch all my videos. I just don't want to waste your time. You know, no wasting time here. We got Psychic Energy. Is that a sign? Can I get a Mew out of here? Here we go. Let's go. Rookity, Darmaka, Sizzlepeed, Stuffle, Azumarill. With some really bad print. I've noticed that. Like, I got this box out of a case. This has got some really bad, nasty print stuff. And a... Do Drill. Do Drill. Getting a little bit of love. Getting a little bit of love. Okay. Now these, uh... I'm rolling on the wrong sleeves here, guys. Here we go. This is better. Uh, yeah, penny sleeve. I know I, I know I have it, so I'm putting it in a penny sleeve. I know. I, I have some really weird OCDs. Like, I use purposely fitted sleeves for the cards I don't have because I put them in binders and all the other cards I do have, I usually put them in penny sleeves while videoing because penny sleeves are easy to do. And then when I decide to sell the bot, if I have it, if it's an ultra rare, if it's a dollar or more, I'll, I'll put it on my store for sale. And then I'll switch it to a more thicker sleeve. So, Caddy, okay, and Grim Snarl. Hollow rare, okay. All right, we knew we had to get we had to get hollow rares eventually. You know, I'm, I'm the king of the hollow rares. That's all I get hollow rares. Fusion strike's been kind of rough. I think people kind of don't like fusion strike because of the uh, they say the pull rates are kind of hard in this stuff. I don't really feel like it's bad. They sometimes just bad luck. Sometimes boxes just aren't really mapped really well. Like I think we've opened up one already that was really bad. So, hey, I love that toad out. That toad out is just like my one of my favorite artworks. I don't know why. I just love that toad out. And we got Skaters Park and Absol. Okay. 
Um, I'm trying to think of what cars I'm missing out of the set. I know any of the Gengar V Max. Um, um, Bolton V Max, I believe, is a card I'm missing out of the set. Not worth a ton, but I'm talking about like just original set. Like I'm not talking about like the once you get past the trainers at the end of the set, you know, like the full arts and above. Those I don't really count when it comes to like stuff I'm missing out of the originals out of the set because those are hard to pull. Like the, those are going to take a while. But for me, I really would like to not to have any gaps leading up to that part in the binder. My chilling rain is like that. There are no gaps leading up to the full arts. So, and Fusion Strike, I feel like, is a legit e legit set to be able to possibly master. Because there's not a lot of expensive cards in here. There's a lot of good value cards. And Corbin Knight. Love Token Amaro. You still see that card that often. Um... Yeah, there's a lot of good value cards, a lot of good, like, $20 cards, you know. So, you know, get buy one pack, you, know, you, can get, you definitely get your packs worth out of it. There's a lot of cards I believe that are worth more than a pack. I think it's, like, 20 or something like that. Maybe more than that of cards that are worth more than the actual booster pack itself. So, and I'm talking about, like, retail price, you know, like, the 420 that you get at Target and Meloetta. Because most consumers are buying stuff in sleeves. You know, or what, or whatnots. I will tell you guys, if you guys buy collection boxes, you're buying five dollars per pack. And usually, when it comes to collection boxes, that's why I try and stay away from them as much as possible. The best bang for your dollar is buying booster boxes. Hey, and ooh, ooh. I always love this the axis because it has all the strikes. It could do it all. It could do it all. Tennessee and A. Here we go. I am getting closer and closer to making my studio to where I can make this more of a legit channel. As in having a face camera, having a background in my studio, just stuff like that. You know, just I am slowly, slowly building this place up more and more to it looking like legit. Instead of just some dude opening cards and rack this. Which, I mean, that's my profile is just some dude opening cards. But that's size point. We ain't, we ain't live in that area. I don't know if I mentioned this or not. Hold on, let me open this pack. Get out of your pack. Um, if you want to help support the channel, I will leave a link in my in the description of the video of my TCG Player account on the store, so you can buy cards from my store and help me support the channel. Help me so I can buy more cards and keep rolling with videos. All, if you haven't noticed, a lot of my videos are like over a hundred dollars a piece. I'm not gonna lie, I'm just like a normal person like you. I do not make a lot of money. I have just a normal job. You know, that makes me like 45 to 50K a year based on, you know, how many hours I work and overtime and all that good jazz. So I don't make a ton of money, guys. So if any help is always needed, especially. So I, a lot of the stuff I've been doing lately, I have just been doing buys off my TCG player. And or can I? Okay, okay. We're kind of hitting a little dry spell here. Just gotten two hollow rares and two ultra rares. So yeah, buying from my store is a big help. And you will definitely see that I do not sell silk product on my store. No, it's it's only cards. Once in a while, I'll try I'll sell a, a silk product because it's hot and I could really use the money. I'm like, ah, I just need to sell this so I can get... And Rillaboom V. I need the Rillaboom V Max now that I see this Rillaboom V. That's a card that I'm missing out of my out of the set. So yeah. Now that I'm seeing that, really boom! I love this card. It's got the bongo drum stuff going on. I mean, right now you can't see it. Wait, get the drumstick. Really cool card. R really, I like. I like it. It's, it has that little like a Georgia jungle vibe going on with it. Um, I do have a a good amount of yes. Yeah, so I don't I don't sell for sale product unless I absolutely am like I need to sell something so I can buy something else. Um, I do have a lot of, I want to say a lot of stuff in, on the side for videos. I do have a lot of videos in mind, a lot of ideas, and gold. So, there are definitely videos ahead. I'm hoping I can keep up with the whole three videos a week thing. I feel like I'm just like, ah, oh, I'm just so busy. Sometimes I just don't feel like I have time to do it. And I like, and I like to do the videos after having my video was doing my videos um, advanced, in advance, I've come to realize that sometimes doing the videos in advance makes them irrelevant. 
some of the stuff I, I was opening, I was like, well, this is kind of irrelevant because it's been out for a while now. Well. So that's kind of how I feel about some of that stuff. So it's kind of like, uh, I don't want that. I kind of want my videos to be right on track with what's going on in the market. That way we can talk about the market and talk about how Pokemon is doing. And talk about the news and stuff like that. You know? So. So, I'm, so yeah, it feels like sometimes I don't have enough time. Like this one, honestly, this video, I'm doing this video like a week in advance. Because, well, I just don't really have that much time. Hey, I need that card for my deck. And Gorbers, because I'm at that point where I'm, I just want all the reverse hollows for the, for the deck. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I am definitely ready for live tournaments. That will be fun. As you guys can tell, we are on the second half of this box now. First half was kind of underwhelming. We got the Gengar VMAX, though. But over that Gengar VMAX, we've probably made a bit... We've maybe made $10 off, the, off this box so far. Out of, like, what is this box worth? Like, $90 right now? Somewhere around there. So, we're not close. We need something big. And that Starmie is not big. It's a nice, shiny Starmie, though. Kind of glad Starmie got a little love. I do feel like some Pokemon just don't get any love whatsoever. And then there are other Pokemon that get a lot of love. Just, just throwing that out there. And there's a good card. Also, guys, when it comes to code cards, I'm sorry. It's first come, first serve. I can't help you out. But if you want free code cards, you can order. You can go on my online, and when you buy something off my TCG player, and you mention in the uh, hey reverse rare, and oh, okay, there's that girl. Okay, okay, this is like a twenty dollar card, I think. I know it's decently up there. It's a really used card, and I do not have it, and it is badly off cut, which is okay. What a beautiful card. Man, she's pretty. I love that card. It's got some interesting kind of swirlish thing going on. I don't know if she has like some sort of one of those like rainbow whips or whatever like that going around with her or something like that. I don't know. But it looks really cool. I really like it card. That's our full art, guys. That was our full art. Not bad. They're definitely... Uh, they're, the full art Pokemon set are worth a lot more than the trainers. Usually the trainers, it feels like, are getting are worth more than a Pokemon. This is my opinion. Not this set. This set, you know, you got your your full art Mew V, just regular full art v, Mew V that is worth like, oh, that's an alternate art, never mind. That's an alternate art. That's worth like 50 bucks. So then you got the V Max that's worth like $100. And Blissey, hey, we like Chansey to Blissey. All right. That's another thing. I love Blissey. They've been giving her some love lately. Pokemon Go, man, Blissey was annoying, to say the least. When, when it was hard, when, it, when, it was, when everybody was playing hard, Blissey was annoying. Best gym, best gym defender ever. Everybody throwing blissies, and then they got rid of that. And then they it still got really annoying because Blissey had to, you know had to beat it down three times, and people go and go and bury it, bring it back to life. Especially when there was a raid going, there's a whole bunch of people sitting there. Oh yeah, oh hey, reverse for Latios, okay, and Swampert. God man, I pull a lot of Swampers. I feel like right now we are on a four Ultra Rares, the four Hollow Rares, guys. Not doing bad. I am excited to get the studio kind of rolling a little bit, though. It is starting to move along. i done a lot of work this week on it. Kind of trying to come up with ideas for some displays in my background. Um, God, I won't say I'm working on it right now. Like, I got some ideas. I just feel like I need to go buy it. Uh, buy it and, uh, yeah, well, you know. Hey, and... Oh, okay. So, oh, yeah. yeah. This is not one of those VMAXs I'm missing on my, on my binder. Man, maybe we'll fill up the whole binder. Just finish it off. Ugh. <sighs> Nice Cinerates VMAX. The, the, the card, I feel like there's so much going on in this card. There's so much color. It's like, it's kind of almost hard to see it. It's almost hard to see what's going on. But it is a very beautiful card. Nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. Now I'm having a hard time thinking about what else I need. I know. Oh, I still need that Rillaboom VMAX. That's what we need to find. Can we get the Rillaboom VMAX? That might be it. I think it was just the Gengar, the Cinerates, and the Rillaboom. If we can get the. Uh, the Rillaboom VMAX, we will have a what's up? We will have the set besides for the like the reverse hollow stuff like that. But I'll at least have a card in every single hole of the binder. So that's what that's what matters to me. I can't believe Twin Ring was my first one that I got them all, but then again I almost can because well it's Chilling Rain. And I've opened up a lot of Chilling Rain. Like I it was I think it was the first thing I bought a, I bought a case for. It was the first time I ever bought a case of anything. I bought a, a booster box case and me and my buddy split it. See, see, come on, look at that. 
Look at that. I don't understand. Look at this bad print quality. And toxic crook. Anyway. And it had to be on total dial too. It just ruined my total dials. I love that total dial. <laughs> and you know what though? Where's my golden flappy at? I mean, isn't that what we were going for? Is golden flappies here right here? Not power tablets. Man. Pull like four power tablets already. Get out of here, power, ta power tablet. You can give me any golden rare, gold rare, other than a power tablet. I'll be happy. And, oh, Cinerates V. All right, well, at least we're rolling in with the hits. Got them hits rolling. I'm going to hold on, man. Get these. Can't believe I don't have these sleeves out and ready to go. Yeah, with me rearranging the, the uh, studio a little bit, I've actually got a lot more arm room, it feels like, too. So I'm happy about that. It feels bigger in here. Now that I've moved things around, but it's going to about to get smaller again because there's still some stuff I need to buy that's going to fill up this place a little bit. All right, we got some psychic energy, and we're kind of on a roll, honestly. Like we've got we've got ten hits, which is not bad, honestly. We got ourselves a Choodle, Swoomish. We got Complees. Oh, and we got an Obstagoon, Hollow Rare Obstagoon. Okay, all right. We're at five to six on the Ultra Rares ahead of the Hollow Rares. Not bad. I'm always happy when Ultra... I think Ultra Rares usually do come out ahead on Hollow Rares when it comes to booster boxes. But, you know. But, you know what? I forgot to mention. This is the last booster box, right? You know what that means? That means Friday, it's going down. Every single Elite Trainer box from Sword and Shield. It's going to be a huge opening. You know, there's 12 of them. Eight packs apiece. You know... That's 96 packs. That's a, that's, a, that's 96 packs. That's a lot of packs. That's a lot of boxes to open up. I'm going to make sure I have my box cutter next to me. Or at least something to open up on. I don't know about the box cutter. I don't want to ruin the ETBs. But I'm definitely going to have something to help me break open all those things. I'm, I'm going to try to go through it as quickly as possible. Probably like an hour long video. Unfortunately. But it'll be fun. It'll be fun to go through every single set again. One more time before the end of the year. And open up, honestly, like, I have never opened up the Darkness of Blaze ETB, so there's that, too. E Morpeko! And... That guy. Not, he's not that excited, but that Morpeko was cool. As you guys can tell, this is what we got left. So, yeah, we're kind of moseying along here. You know, making a really good time. I actually almost could slow down, based on the time I'm looking at. We are kind of killing it. But, no rainbow yet, no gold yet, and this box is not out of the woods. It's been decent for us, but I feel like it can do better. That's just how I feel. We got nine tails. Took it tomorrow. Okay, we got some trash. Ooh, we got that beautiful total out. And it's Lazy Snorlax. And it's from... I swear that was like the uh, wash runs for Pete. Hey, Landorus. Okay, now we're tied. Now we got the... T we're, we're tied with Ultra Rares and the Hollow Rares. We can't end in ties. Or can we? Hopefully we don't end in ties. Pokemon don't end. Well, yeah, it does. I mean, it can end in size. You can get some sort of self-destruct going on. See that? <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see. Let's get her, let's get her gold or a rainbow. Let's see what it is. Come on now. It's got to be on here somewhere, right? We can't just have just a couple of ultra rares. No gold. And... Oh, there's our full art Pokemon. Crap. Now, I did look at this card. and I do know the price is. The price is very cheap. I think it's like a... I think it's like a 3 or $4 card. It's not expensive at all. But it looks pretty. I, I really like the purple with the pinks. And the card looks really good. Full art Pokemon. Yeah, we got full art Pokemon and a full art trainer. Usually when that happens, I sit there and I'm like, yeah, we're not going to get our rainbow. Uh, we're not going to get our rainbow, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm sad. And I promise you guys, I did not use these code cards either. These are all your guys'. I promise you. I know there's a guy, and I have one guy in my comments like, oh, right away all the code cards you use, 30 seconds in. Bro, not going to be mean to you, but how you know they're all used if you're, th if you're 30 seconds in. Just saying. Just saying. I guarantee you I'm not using these code cards. I haven't even played on the TCG online in a while. I need to get back to it. Look Oh man, that better not be a good card because I'm gonna be kind of a little sad. I know it was a black, it was a good code card, so there's something, there's a hit back here. So I'm gonna be a little sad if it's nothing more than a hollow rare. Ooh, Ninetales, and yeah, 
It was just a hollow rare. And that Ninetales one. Yeah, that Ninetales I'm pretty sure. I know, I know I didn't have that reverse, so that's nice. Fusion Strike almost coming down to it. We got three more packs. I think now is about the time to say, hey, you know what? If you guys like what you see, if you guys want to see more, you guys want free code cards, you guys want to see good openings, you know, I try to, I want to say be entertaining, but at least show you guys Pokemon cards, you know. I, I definitely try not to let them be weak openings. Anyway, please hit subscribe, hit a like on this button, leave a comment, whatever you think, whatever you want to say. You know, I appreciate it. You know, I, I, I don't want no negativity, but... I do appreciate the people who watch this video. I have noticed that I've been getting like two likes on every single video. It's probably the same two people that like the video. I appreciate you too. Both of you. Okay, here we go. This one is another good code card apparently. And we are at... We're, we're I, st I feel like there's got to be some sort of gold or rainbow in here. And this pack right here. I can feel it. I can feel it. Flaffy. 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 Ugh. Lucario. Not a flaffy. It's not a flaffy, guys. Okay, one more pack. Last pack, magic. Again, you know, I already said the subscribe thing. Again, check out my TCG player. You know, cards that you see on here, if I have them extra, they, they go on there. So if you see anything you like, that I pull or something like that, or you want to help just help out the channel, like I said, I'll give you 10 free code cards if you just mention that you watched my video and you should you and you bought this from watching my video. So, to help support the channel, I will give you 10 free code cards. Alright? I mean, that's all I can really do for you guys. I, I appreciate all the love and support. We'll do a little recap after this pack. I'll tell you one thing. I know this pack is going to be a dud because it's not a good one. And, well, I can't say we lacked hits. Because we have seven hollows, hollow rares. And I think we have like nine Ultra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have, uh, we have eight and seven. We have 16 hits. Wait, eight and seven? <laughs> 15 hits, which is actually really good for a booster box. This is that we didn't get anything, no gold, no rainbow, which is kind of sad. We did get some stuff we didn't have. You know, I see at least, you know, one, two, three, four cars I didn't have yet. So I can't complain in that, in that aspect. But anyways, um, yes, stay tuned for next week. I mean, not next week. Stay tuned for Friday. You know, New Year's Eve, last opening, every single ETB, watch it, please. It'll be awesome. I appreciate the support and love, and until next time.